Yeah, it's a real long train. So we went to the hotel, we're at the Z Hotels, dropped our bags off, and then now we were going to go and get some super glue for New Year's. <laughs> the bow has uh, just kind of come away a bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So maybe we'll find something which would be great. Yeah, I'm sure it will. And then we're off to all you can eat wings. Tour guide, like accent. <laughs> tour guide. Then we're off to all you can eat wings. Yes, wing <laughs> so it's called Wingman's. Yep, Wingman's. All right, so we're going there. Yeah, we are. We're going to eat lots of wings. <laughs> We've arrived for our brunch, and it turns out we are the only uh, brunch seating for 12 o'clock. We're the only people in the entire restaurant, and we're here early, um, so they've not even officially opened up yet. But it's just us, um, and because of that, we had our pick of any table in the entire place. So it's just there's there's just no one at all. Just the Bobalicious. Welcome to our wings. <laughs> um, so this is the menu, if it would like to focus in. Um, so it's basically unlimited wings, um, uh, bottomless either cider, uh, lager or cocktail of the month, and unlimited fries. So these are all of the options. You can add extra bits and pieces, which I'm not going to lie. Truffle mac and cheese temptation um, but it's uh, 40 per person and I think we're gonna give a good go of it I think Bob yeah. so it turns out when you go to an all-you-can-drink place at 12 on a Sunday in January it's not that busy no not at all <laughs> drink number one which is a Cuba Libre Cuba Libre all Cuba, Cuba oh, right rum and cook and lime you can taste the rum. <laughs> Is it good? They're not skimpy. It's not quite as good as yours. No. Oh. But that depends on rum you use. I guess Probably so. Probably not like the nice dark rum. But it's good. It's a good thing to go with wings. <laughs> Drink number two. And wings. So we got the buffalo wings and the sweet barbecue wings and the chips. So we will dig into these and we'll see. Hopefully they're pretty good. And I think we can just choose between the next ones we get and then just have for selfies. So she's gone with gloves, which are provided. And uh, you've got some technique going, removing the bit, the wing or the bone. <laughs> good. That barbecue sauce perfect. I don't know what it is, but the little crispy thing is just. They're onions, I think. Yeah. Mm. Alright, these buffalo wings, I think, very, very good. Barbecue wings are very good too, but I prefer the buffaloes. 
Which one do you prefer? They're both really good. Daniel likes them both. They're both really good. They're very messy though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, great success. Wings done. I want number three drink. And he's falling behind on drinks. Mm, two. And we've ordered some more wings, so. It's really good so far. Yeah. Really, really good. Very impressed. You ready for more wings? He's <laughs> got the shapes. So we have the Shanghai, which is um, sesame and soy, Chinese inspired. And then the Bangkok, which is Thai flavors. Yeah. And then drink number three for Anya. She's catching up. And it's the old dancing. <laughs> so we get more wings to eat. So this place is fantastic. I would thoroughly recommend coming for the 12 o'clock brunch option. <laughs> Um, because because we are the only people here, they are beyond attentive. Um, they keep just bringing out drinks all of the time. I don't even know if I can handle it anymore. <laughs> but I've had four of these. Bob's on his fifth, an and they, we've been here an hour. Um, they're just so on top of it. Fantastic. In, in that second he's come over and he's already taken Bob's in the class um, and has probably gone and told them to start making up another one, it's really <laughs> um, But definitely worthwhile. Now as I said, if you try and come for the 12 o'clock one, it's so quiet. Come in here, get your drinks, get all your food, go to a show, go to a matinee on a Sunday. It's great. <laughs> it's a way to do things. What do you think, Bob? I think it is the way to do things. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly cool. I'm pretty disappointed in my stomach. You know, we're the people who finished the kitchen sink. I and, know. And we can finish four plates of wings. Yeah, but this is what happens. Could, but... This this is what happens when you've been dieting for a month. I mean, we'll probably finish these, but I don't think we'll order anything. I don't know if I will. Well, never mind. <laughs> this more, is it. More training needed before we go on the list, that's for sure. Yeah, but it's different when you're on the ships. Yeah, I guess. You just develop this other stomach, it's like, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. You know how I said that they were very attentive and they were very much looking after you? This is how much I have left of the other one. She said that we're on last orders because we've 15 minutes left of our 90 minute slot. And Bob went, I'll get another one. This is how much of my life drunk of mine. Go on anyway. And there's another new one as well. So he's number six. Yeah. We're doing alright. <laughs> May fall asleep in the Lion King. Uh, he's singing. <laughs> Just realised that uh, we never actually told you that we were going to see the Lion King and let the cat out of the bag, man. Yeah. But I mean, I did have a lot of uh, hints and clues. Yes, so yes, yes. <laughs> if you didn't guess it by now, <laughs> here's our receipt. So we got our wings and our twelve drinks. Make it. I think it's all right. I think that's incredibly good. You also have to take into account you're in London. Oh, that is true. Do you enjoy your 12 drinks? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. We were wingmans. Yep. And we're now full of wings and rum. Definitely go. Food is incredible and the service is even better, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, that was real good. Uh, but yeah, definitely go for the 12 I, I rate it. I treat it like royalty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, made for Lion King. Yay, there's Lion King stuff in there. And... Bad lighting. Yeah, I guess so. We're like, we're on good seats because Enya got them last minute. Yep. And they were pretty cheap, but we're sitting like one behind each other, so... We're not sitting together. No, but, but we're right we close to each other. Yeah. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, almost got behind the gram. Enya is sitting here, and I'm sitting, obviously, where I'm sitting. <laughs> Anyway, and this is our view here, so I think it's pretty good for 30 quid, <laughs> for 30 quid a ticket. It's all right, and they're pretty fancy these uh, stalls up there. But you may what? Oh, ooh, that would be exciting. <laughs> I don't know how they set it up here, but we can get them. Yeah. But anyway, I think these are pretty good seats for Anya's birthday. I think I did well. All right, we're just out of the Lion King, and. I don't know if you can hear us, but all of these uh, tuk tuk things have set up and it's part essential and you're just going for it. So basically, they're all here picking people up for the to come out of the show, but they've all got their music playing. While the lights are on. While the lights are on. They've all got different songs going. Yeah. So whether you can hear us or not, I don't know, but it's fun. Anyway, Dominic Lion King. 
Very good. Very, very good. Very much enjoyed it. This is our hotel. Is that anything else? So we've seen her a couple of times, I mean you. Yes, we have. So we're gonna go and get a room now. And we feel it's probably one of the best spots to be in. To yeah, be it's pretty good. Here we go. Alright, so this is our room. Um, they had said they were giving us a free upgrade, but I don't think they have. <laughs> um, so we're just in an inside room, but um, I'll show you it. Let me in, Bob. Welcome to my room. <laughs> I have a friend. Oh, so there's one wall. <laughs> um, well, a little side table. They provide you water and tea and these coffees are, and things. Did you get these ones though? So, rather than the like oh, yeah. instant coffee. So mm -hmm. winning. Um, all the controls are on the wall for all of your lights and your air conditioning. Thank you for the demonstration, Bob. The bathroom lights on and off. There you go. Um, so, <laughs> he's having fun. Okay. Uh, um, so then, it's like trying to show everything. But you've got your double bed there, your TV. So you've obviously, because it's an inside room, you've not got a window or anything like that. No. Um, but it's still, like, I mean, for the night, for the night. it's absolutely for, fine. For the location. Yeah, the location is fantastic. Right in the centre of London. Yeah. So we're, we're just off of um, so we're, Trafalgar Square. So we're at the C Hotel off of Trafalgar Square. Yeah. So for us, we just it's a five minute walk straight down to the underground. Brings us straight to Marylebone Station, so it's perfect. Yeah. And then, yeah, you can just go straight on the Bakerloo line anywhere. All the theatres around here, it's perfect. Yep. Yeah. And then... Oh, the other room. Well, you also have your little space oh, under yeah. here that you can put your bags. And then, this is the bathroom. Hi, me! <laughs> Good demonstrations. <laughs> so it's just kind of like a shower. The wet room thing, yeah. Like wet room. But um, it's always been nice. And, and if I look, rather than it being plasticky stuff, it's. Oh, yeah, it's in little it's containers. Yeah. Cool. Um, we've always found that like the showers have been nice here, yeah. so um, we have always appreciated it. Oh, another mirror there. Mirror. There's my outfit. Mini mouse shoes. Outfit of the day. You know we've not done ears of the day. Ears of the day. Oh we goodness. We should have done ears of the day. Well, I mean it's not as if I've hinted at them or anything, but <laughs> Bob, do you want to take over and do some ears of the day? Today's ears are based on the Lion King. The Lion King! Where did you get these ears from, Enya? They're pretty fabulous. I wonder, could it maybe be Fantasyland Ear Emporium? Ah, wow, I didn't know they made Lion King ears. Mm -hmm. Which, if you use the code Bob and Amy 10 you get 10% off on the store. Wow, that's fantastic. I'll definitely be using that one. The link, as well as the code, will be in the description box, <laughs> as it always is for all of our videos. These were a pain in the arse to make because this Hakuna Matata bit, I redid it like five times. So, but it looks very good. It turned out really Hakuna well. Matata, in the end. and then you've got I like sparkly over here. sparkles. Oh, and all the sparkles. Yeah, because it's not fantasy land here in Portium years without sparkles. <laughs> One of the awesome things about staying in the Z Hotel is if you become a member, you get complimentary wine mm -hmm. and a cheese platter. Looks good, actually. Which looks really good, doesn't it? Nice wine? Yes. Very nice wine so far. But yeah, this is all complimentary when you sign up and you book directly to them. So we are very much going to just enjoy our free break. We're going to eat loads of cheese and then we Yeah, we are. <laughs> restaurant menu for where we're heading next. That's what we eat. I thought it was very good. <laughs> it was really good. And I mean, like, there's a lot of cheese. Yeah. And the wine was really nice. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, as a complimentary perk. For a free cheese board. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Um, the cheese was very good. It was good, actually. I really liked that. Um, 
But yeah, it's just another little park. This is one of the many reasons that we like coming here. Um, I think this is our favorite hotel. I mean, we've yeah. seen the rooms here quite often, but what They're would small, you really need? But for a single night, I'm right, in right in the center of London, with this, the 10% off if you um, become a member. Obviously, this everyone's super friendly and super nice. Um, I just can't say enough about it, and it's always quiet. Mm. It's never yeah. like crazy, and yeah. I definitely think it's something you should check out for sure. I agree. Alright, came back to our route and we had a quick change of ears. I don't know if you're wearing your ears. No, I'm not. <laughs> These are only his birthday ears that she made for her birthday. Mm -hmm. So we wore them. Do you wear those ears? I don't know. Anyway, we had our wine and cheese, then we chilled in that room for a little bit and then we're going out for dinner. So, we're all ready. You're excited. I've got heels on. I know, and you've got heels on. See? Terror. Uh -huh. They look pretty though. Thanks. Alright. Okay, we must go. You got the key? I don't know. I better check. So, we are here at P.F. Chang's. P.F. Chang's, yes. A very nice, nice place, may I say. Uh, so we're starting off with drinks. And look how cool mine looks. I know, yours looks cooler than mine. And, um, obviously it's star fruit, but to me it makes me think of the pow pow fruit from uh, Kingdom Hearts. And that just makes it, like, really cute and really special to me. And if you get that reference, you people are awesome. And you've just got beer, which is boring. Well, it's, well, it's like an Asian lager. That's funny. I don't know. So, we'll look, try and see. Mine has fruit that if you split it with someone, you're meant to be in their lives for forever. I wonder if you'll split that with someone. I mean, there's something else that you could do and then that stay in your life forever. I mean, I it's something a bit shinier than that. <laughs> I bought you enough cruises, all right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good start, in fairness. <laughs> So, so far, the Mongolian beef has come out, and yeah. the fried rice. We're, um, we're waiting on my honey chicken, which hasn't appeared yet, but hopefully it'll come. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it looks good so far. It smells real good. It's like dark and sticky with soy and ginger and things, but it smells all kind of charry. Yeah, it, lo it looks good. Yeah, it smells good. Alright, honey chicken has now arrived. Yeah. We've, um, had to ask for water again, which we specifically asked for for the table, and we've had to ask for it again. So, I am gonna say that so far, uh, Wingman's is doing much better on the service. <laughs> and we're back in the room. P.F. Chang's was not very good. <laughs> we the did food not like your P.F. Chang's. The food was okay. The cocktail I got was very the good. The cocktail you got was very good. Um, but the service was non-existent, so we made them yeah. take off the service charge. It wasn't even like it was bad, it just, there just wasn't any. Yep. So... Oh, my ears are coming off. Take oh no, the ears are coming off. Because you banged the side. Oh no, it's my fault. Oh, there we go. The food was alright. Yeah. I mean, it was, we both fell a bit ill afterwards, so it was mm -hmm. quite greasy and... I didn't like your chicken because it was just like Chinese cheap Chinese deep fried chicken with a little bit of honey on it so mm -hmm. you liked it I didn't like it yeah it was just the a beef. shame because I'd heard like good things yeah the beef um, was nice but, but the, yeah the rice was good ish and then some parts of it the rice wasn't cooked properly and mm -hmm. were really greasy and other parts seemed to be quite good so I don't know yeah I think they just kind of poured oil in the pan and not stirred it properly I don't know the service charge was optional <laughs> so um there was several people that were asking I think yeah bit. When we got in, the people next to us were complaining about the service, mm. um, and then I think someone else did it, and then we did as well. So, yeah. I think it's just not not just us. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I looked all cute in my outfit. You did. And um, <clears throat> the shoes have immediately been thrown off. <laughs> yeah. It's pain. Things we were gonna go. We were gonna get another drink as there because the drink was really nice, but they didn't yeah. even. Like no one. Once there the food no got thrown on the table, off, like off on us. literally there was thrown no... on the table. Yeah. We didn't speak to anyone until we asked for the bill. No one was interested, so. Mm. So we've come back to the hotel, changed into bare feet for Anya. She yes. might put shoes on. <laughs> we, it was a, like maybe a three or four minute walk from the hotel, so you did well. They were, they were quite high heels. They were, it, I was in pain. But they Apparently were. due to working out, my feet get hench. And uh, <laughs> no, you, that's you, why it's more painful to wear shoes. They don't fit <clears throat> anymore. So you, you said, so they get hench. When, no, I didn't say that. 
I said when you work out, all the muscles grow, including muscles in your feet, so they get bigger. Hunch. But you also haven't worn those shoes for like, I don't know, three or four years. Mm -hmm. So, things change. Anyway, so, well I done. I had you. a cute outfit. You did, you looked good. I still have a cute <clears throat> outfit on, I just don't have any shoes. Yeah, you do. And, and it nice means ears. that I might have to put my mini mesh shoes on. Yeah, I think they'll look fine. Anyway, yeah. we're going to go down to the hotel bar and see if it's still open and get a drink there. Yeah. Because they're really not. friendly. They are really friendly and they're really nice. And and it's your birthday, so why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Inya has become herself. Now she can move again. Whee! <laughs> this is her pretty dress. <laughs> with her birthday ears. With mini mouse shoes. I think it looks good. <laughs> I don't and, care. And you're more of yourself. <laughs> That's the main thing. Yep. Anyway, go downstairs. Oh, my dress is swishy. Oh, hang on. That. Could do it again. Swishy dress. Yes, you are swishing. I didn't get any of your face because I had to get the swish, but... We all know that any loves a good swishy dress. That's the main thing. Yep. Right now we're in the hotel bar being fancy. <laughs> you fancy lady. My ears. Two ears. This is how I basically dress up when I'm on the cruise. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. So, yeah. More outfits ready for an uh, upcoming wish cruise. Basically just spend the day just being silly and mucking about and getting drinks. And I very much enjoyed every bit of it. Enjoy your birthday. It's a really good birthday. Oh, very glad. Glad you like it. But avoid theatre. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've had a really good day. And we've more fun fun for We do. So, exciting. Yeah, so we'll have our drinks and then go to bed, probably. So, maybe get another one to bed, but we'll see. Nightcap. Nightcap. And good morning. Good morning. We've had the most relaxing morning. It's 10 to 11 because checks at 11. Yep. We slept a long time, which is unusual for me. Clearly needed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, last night we left you in the bar downstairs. Mm -hmm. We had a little drink, then we took one back up to our room and we just, you know, had a nice relaxing time, so. Chilled out, just watched some bits and pieces on telling you, but it was lovely. Yeah, it's been a very nice, nice evening and morning. <laughs> so it's a long time since I've just sort of stayed in bed till 11 and chilled out. So mm. Highly recommend. Anyway, today we're off to the London the Dungeons. Dungeons. So hopefully that's quite fun. You said it was good. I don't know about I really being, enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. I might have been, I'm not sure. But who knows? Anyway, we're gonna go and do that. <laughs> okay, bye bed. Bye little tabley thing. So I might have a quick glass of water. Ooh, you. quick glass of water. So bye bathroom. Awesome. Thanks for having us, room. Bye, Anya. Oh no, wait, you're coming with me. Uh, yeah, Hooray! Nice. All right. <laughs> it's been nice this little room. It's tiny, but it's been good. But it's perfect for just the night. Like, yeah. You don't need anything more. No. If you're staying here a week, it might be a bit of an issue. <laughs> a little bit. Anyway, let's go get something to eat. Yay. We've come to this Danish pastry shop that we looked in the window yesterday and it looks very good so we're hoping to have some breakfast here. I don't know what we're going to get because all of it looks bready deliciousness. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let's go in and see if we can get something. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Pastries. Yeah, there's more good things inside, which make it much harder to choose. But we managed to choose some stuff. So, breakfast time. And I am excited. Are you excited, Bob? <laughs> oh no. But it's it's on a saucer. You can you can lap it up. Lap it up like sky. That's it. Put my face in. So we are <laughs> I, I feel like I'll probably still want more. Um, so we are at um, Ol oh here we go uh, Olenstein, um, which is basically all Danish kind of pastry pastries and like a Danish bakery. Um, so we've gone for ham and cheese toasty, which smells amazing, um, and apple pie like tart. This is their cinnamon social slice, which. It looks amazing. It's like a cinnamon roll, but just a bit flatter. But it looks so good. And then this is like a Danish sausage roll. 
Yeah, it's got a frankfurt in it with um, like sourdough pastry and linseeds. It looks so good. And then I got uh, apple, blueberry, ginger, and mint juice, which um, I think is doing well after all the wine last night. Makes me feel somewhat healthy. Mm -hmm. And you've got your flat white. But we go by this place all the time when we're in London. All the time, yeah. <laughs> like all the time. Yeah, and it's always a, oh, we should go in there, so it has finally occurred. Today we are. So here's hoping that it's all good. You smell delicious, so I have high hopes for you. Okay, so so far we have eaten this, which is the ham and cheese toasty. It's on for capture bread um, with the, like, a Dijon mustard. It's fantastic. Yeah. The bread's really, really good. It's like crispy and oily and delicious. It's so airy and light and beautifully Tasty. My cheese is really, really good as well. They had like a fancier version of this that was more expensive, but it was done with like Gruyere cheese and like smoked ham. I can't imagine how good that would be because this is already really good. Yeah. And this Danish sausage roll thing is actually really tasty. Yeah, the bread's really good. It's really well proved. Mm. There's lots of flavour in the bread and the linseeds really add to it. Mm. And the, the frankfurt is actually really tasty. Which it is. It's I didn't expect. Not as shy. It's actually really good. It's really, really good. According to the back of this, oh, yeah. it does say that um, all of their pastries and breads and everything are all um, hand stretched and hand rolled and made fresh every morning. So, just like in our house. Yeah, it's probably why everything's so good so far. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to finish eating these and then we'll come back and let you know about these two bad boys. Yeah. Right, I'm not eating any of this yet, but I wanted to show you like a cut slice of it and look at the bottom. Like, so oh, it, it looks so good. Alright, and he's getting ready. Biting into that cinema social. The <laughs> oh, that's a good face. <laughs> yeah, the breads are so different, which is mm -hmm. really nice. But the cinnamon is very strong flavour, which is good. Yeah, I see cuts there, so you can sit with the bread, so... Better than Gaston's? <laughs> it's very different. Gaston's is big and sweet. Like, you know, floralized. <laughs> this is nice and rich in flavor, so... Yeah. This one's better, but they're both good. <laughs> Alright, your review. Well, it looks like it's got cinnamon powder through it as well. I like it. <laughs> Yep. But I usually don't like marzipan and things like that. But it's a much more subtle flavour through it. It's really good. And they've just put in the right amount of cinnamon. This is delicious. <laughs> like an apple bready wrappy goodness. Mm -hmm. This is their apple pie. Okay. Much better than most apple pies I've had. Oh, so we have some time until we need to get to uh, the dungeons. So we've just kind of taken this roll down to Chinatown and look at all the lanterns. It's a noisy in the background. A bit noisy. <laughs> and I'm just looking at all this food and it's making me hungry again, which is very bad. <laughs> but it's cool. Cool little place. We found the entrancey bit with the big, wherever these are called. And then there's more of these. They're pretty cool. We're just walking around basically smelling food and uh, looking at all the windows, which is nice. Anyone wants to buy more food, but we just had breakfast. Huh? You want to buy more food? Yeah, I do. <laughs> exactly. We, we might get something. There's everywhere and I like them. Ooh, a train. Anyway, we come to this bridge that you pull across, and here's the London Eye. And here's a view of London. Oh, it's Big Ben. And something. What's that up there? Those buildings. Yeah. No, I know that Westminster's down there. Okay. Behind it, over there. Don't know. There's a big building anyway. So, we're just having a look around as we head towards the dungeons. But it's a nice little uh, bit to walk on. I don't know, it's a big building. We'll have to try and figure out what it is. It's a nice little yeah, no, it is nice to look around. Yeah, I'm 
Yeah. I agree. Alright, we made it to the London Dungeons where there's a man here and a man there and another person up there. It's quite fun to build actually. So I don't know, I'm just getting our tickets ready and we'll go and see. Alright, we made it. We survived. I thought we were dead. Oh no, we died. We didn't make it. Yeah, we did get hung at the end. Oh wait, spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Wait, so you can't, you can't film anything inside, but it was really good actually, I've not done that, you've done it before. I've done it uh, twice before. But you said there were some new bits to it, you've not done before. Yeah, I was, it's just that I can't remember properly. I remember the bits where I'm like, I know I need to not sit there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's lots of like um, jump scares and things and like dark yeah. and flashing lights. And it was really good, just takes you to the history in like the 16, 16 something. Around those times. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. You kept getting picked. I did get picked for a few things, yeah. Got in the head with a hammer. Yep, you did. <laughs> you were to told you were a traitor. I was. Oh, well, I, I owned up. He said, Do you, are you traitor the cake? And I said, Yes. <laughs> because it's not my cake, is it? They were like, Oh, we can tell that's a Scots and <laughs> get him. <laughs> yeah, different thrones at the time. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed it. It's it's really good. Um, it lasted for about an hour and fifteen minutes. Um, yeah, because we we were in for a quarter past one, um, and it's half two now. So it's not going to take up. We went in fifty minutes early, I think. So did we? Yeah, we went about one. Oh yeah, no, but we went. Oh well, yeah. By the okay. time it started. True. Um, we did so yeah, so it's not going to take up your whole day. It is good fun, mm -hmm. and I. I price for it. Well, we go, we go buy one too, but there's actually pretty much everything. There's yeah, so two for one vouchers or cereal boxes. The, yeah, like the two for one so. vouchers on the cereal boxes or on uh, selection box. Cadbury selection boxes. That's what we, we did. It. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it is a really good little attraction and uh, it's worthwhile to check out. Yeah, there's your Instagram shop. But over here, oh, it's still dark. Anyway, I was going to show you Big Ben because. It's uh, from over there, it was pretty dark, but from here it's quite dark anyway. So, but there it is if you're interested. Time for the grand picks. The, the eye behind us, <laughs> trying to get it to focus. Yeah, let's be tourists. Okay, so we come into Whitehall Gardens. This is the big building I looked at on the bridge and said that looks like a fancy building, but I think it's Whitehall. I don't know what that means, but uh, this is Whitehall Gardens. So, we've come for a little look around. Pretty. It is pretty. <laughs> Don't know either. There might be another sign somewhere. Anyway, we're just having a nice little stroll and looking at the big buildings. Yeah. Lo and behold, look where I've dragged Bob to. Are you excited? Always. Because <laughs> it dies me. I do like merch. We're looking at all the 100 year merch. So that's shiny. And then they have. Like the Mickeys and the Minis, and cushions, and the ears. Awesome sweatpants. He looks so fancy. He does look fancy. And I like right. that it's all embroidered. Yeah, rather than just a sticker. Exactly. Hey look, Chip and Dale. Oh yeah. And of course a water bottle, and those hat things. But yeah, this is all 100 year merch stuff that Enya's looking at. Most of it says Disneyland on it, which is fine because we're going to go to Disneyland. They have infant things for children who don't know what's happening. Oh wow! And again, it's Disneyland. I do really want the spirit jersey. Well, if you buy it when we're there. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to do it to get it while we're there. But yeah. I'm very fearful about it not being there. Um, it's October, so I don't know. Yeah. When does it, when does the celebration end? Uh, oh, it, it will just end there. So we'll be alright, they'll have loads of it. Cool stuff. Because you know, it's on TV. Yeah. Anyway, there's loads of good stuff here. And then, obviously, they have loads of pins. They're not really like pins. Well, you know. And then the 50th, crazy is, one's good. the 50th is thrown in there. <laughs> yeah. In please, fairness, that's actually please buy really cool. Merch. We have so much left. <laughs> but that one's actually really cool. Look, it's got all of all the parts and stuff. Yeah. It? Yeah. That's probably one of the best 50th merch I've seen. Yeah. Anyway, 
Well done. Good songs. Ooh, and he wants me to buy this mug. Oh, he is quite nice, to be fair. Oh, look. Like Walt's typewriter. I know. Disney Studios. And then here, there he is. I actually will put this on it. There it is. Go try it. Yeah, I do actually very much like it. It's quite nice. It's cool. It is cool. So, and then there's a nice cushion as well. It's a nice cushion. Yeah. Like yeah. Lots of cool stuff. They do. I'm impressed. Whoever's kind of taken over and is doing this kind of merch is doing well. They've taken a big step up from it's the 50s stuff. Merch. Yeah. Yeah. We're now in line for meet and greet with Anna. Get in the picture, any? Seriously. Smile. We met Anna and now we're meeting Elsa. No queue, right? No queue. Great. I've just been editing our vlog when we were in Hollywood Studios, so I think that's coming out soon. But this was in the park there, and Enya was like, Should we get this? Should we not get this? And I said, It'll probably be in the Disney shop. And here it is. And now you're looking at these. It's Mickey with the doll whip. She with the doll whip. And, and it's Jose. Yeah. But then these, oh, the pirate's dog as well. He's reduced. Do you think this one's going to be reduced? This is a better Mickey. He's in the full suit. This is a better Mickey? Yeah, because instead of being gold, he's like in his actual suit. Oh yeah, that right is better. Colors. It's probably not reduced though. 33. Oh, I can't remember what it was in, in Florida. Not bad for a pumpkin pot that size. Yeah. They're nice. Oh, they are nice. And also, we're waiting to meet and greet for Rapunzel. <laughs> but there's, there's, there's someone meeting her already. So, we'll come back in a minute. Why well, you left that? You. There is someone else meeting her. There, yeah, I just saw that. Oh, this t-shirt has that uh, Mickey Mini fighting as well, but it's like the original Mickey stuff. Yeah. This is cool. I would like these ones. Well, I don't know if I'd want them, but I like the design on them. So much has happened. What have we got? Oh, yeah, original Mini. Oh, oh is there a Mickey one as well? And the piano, yeah. It's cool. The new merch stuff is better, I think. Yeah, they're doing a really good job on stuff at the moment. So. Yeah. Oh, oh the Winnie the Pooh? No. <laughs> oh, the, the fancy lady. The, the fancy lady Jeffries. Also, this is now not TV. It's a meet and greet for Belle. So then you want these um, fancy pajamas. Fancy lady pajamas. Fancy lady pajamas. Yeah. There's a dressing gown that goes with it as well. Yeah. But they're they're quite expensive. Yeah. But they're nice and they have the castle on them and things. And I would be wearing them all the time that we were around. on the Disney Oh yeah. I mean fancy lady. that is a fancy lady. You get like a turban. And <laughs> <laughs> sleep I'm after after sleeping. Too. Wow. Fancy lady. <laughs> Hello Belle, how are you? Are you missing the beast? You do match. Sorry, these are the back, the Dooney and Burks for the hundreds. They're beautiful. They are very nice. And then so this was 250 and the one behind's 280. And then these are the, the really expensive ears that are 600 quid. 600 quid. They look like worst version of your ears, to be I honest. Know. I know. Maybe. I mean, in the camera, all it's showing sparkles. This is nice. Oh, yeah. Tink. It's really quite nice. And they're also playing the song from uh, the musical we went to yesterday, so what are the chances? They knew. There are nice bags. <laughs> they said, we want to hear you hear the passionate classes sing this song. Yeah. They are giving it to you. <laughs> Alright, we've come to Boon Daddy's, which is a ramen place. It's ramen, and you've picked it out, and you pick, I don't know, your broth. Oh no, these are just the different broths, so it's basically just ramen, is it? Yeah. And then you can pimp it up with different things here. I've not read this, so really I should have prepped before getting on the video, but <laughs> but we like ramen. I love ramen. You're a big ramen I'm fan, so yeah. we're going to get some ramen. So on the table you have your chopsticks and your spoons, but there's also a garlic crusher because we've got garlic here with sesame seeds, chili oil, and then here is some like uh, chili paste that smells very very good. 
and they also have, as you point out, hair ties. Hair ties. In case, you, in case you get your hair in your ramen. And it's too, too short now. Oh, so you'll be okay. You're doing so tie back. Okay. Good. You're prepared. I don't know if we said the name of this place, but it's called Bone Daddy's. Bone Daddy's. It's just off of Bond Street. Yeah, next to Disney Shop. Yeah, and we're very, very much hoping that it's going to be good because I like the ramen. <laughs> So Bob has to drive when we get home, so no more alcohol. So it's Cokes all the way, but the sugar's good. The tunes are good. <laughs> it's all like old school 2000s, <laughs> kind of slightly punk emo tunes, and it's great and I'm loving it. But look how awesome these glasses are. I thought that they looked like um, Beskar. <laughs> because I like Star Wars. All right, you got yourself a Star Wars nerd girlfriend. <laughs> but I think that you look so cool with that glass. But my mandolin, which I don't have, but yeah. maybe if I just like that. <laughs> That's it. They just made a Yeah, exactly. It's cool, it's like the other side of the console shaker. Yeah. I like it. They're cool. So, already, very impressed by what we've gotten so far and all it's been is coke and a cool glass so here it's hoping fingers crossed that looks really weird when you do it like that um, <laughs> but fingers crossed for some good ramen eh the bows have arrived it's not real good. and they look amazing so it's pork pork belly duck and fried chicken they look really good i love bows and these look nice and pillowy soft it's okay i'm gonna eat it so i'm allowed to play with it a bit <laughs> <laughs> these look really really good oh i can't wait to eat them uh so i just turned off the camera because i was like cool the bow buns are here um, and then both of our ramen have come out so this is mine this is like chicken mince with shredded chicken egg noodles spring onions and then I put the, the, pork. the pork pork chili so it's got pork belly and pork mince uh, with pork broth and then spicy chili clearly there's a big chili in it yeah. with egg and noodles and all the good stuff so needless to say you got big this chili has here come out within like five minutes of us ordering it yeah it was good really good so and we bow one. Oh, I'm so excited we've had the chicken one oh my it was amazing it's so yeah the bun is so fluffy and soft and tasty and um, the chicken itself like it's good dark meat really good crispy not greasy at all really really good and then uh, the sauce with it I don't know it's quite really tasty go on go for the next one we're going for the pork one next you know? yeah the pork okay. and the duck for last all right <laughs> You're doing well so far, Bone Daddies. <laughs> right, bad ones were incredible. So now we're heading into the ramen. Bob's talking in. First impressions. Good. Yeah. Just a noodle, <laughs> it's always difficult to get a big spoonful of everything. Well, a big chopstick full of everything. So. Mm. But if it's anything to go off of with how the bow buns were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's dancing. But the ramen was real good. Very good. Very tasty. Yeah. Both of them very different to each other. Yeah, both broths really different because you had the chicken broth and I had the pork broth. And uh, they were both really different. I really, really recommend it. Yes, highly recommend it. Definitely, my bow daddy's is a place to come and visit. I love this. Yeah, I know, you've already said. <laughs> yeah, so the bows were really good and the ramen was really good. Oh, good fit. We're back in the car. Yes. <laughs> um, we didn't film anything on the train because... It was very busy. 
It was like being in a tin of sardines. It was <laughs> quite sardine-like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was busy. I think because it's like there was a 20 past 6, 25 past 6 train, so it's probably yeah. a bit of a commuter one. So Definitely. we just went from the ramen place to the train station, then we sat on the train, and then we got back to the car. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> so we're going to go home now. But Enya, have you had a good birthday? I want a really good birthday. I've had an absolutely fantastic time. I've loved it. Very glad. Did you have fun? I had a very fun weekend and I enjoyed our food and our drinks and our being silly and the show. Lanking was good. Yeah. And London Dungeon was good. And just generally having a time away was very nice. So if you're going to London, highly recommend Z mm -hmm. Hotel. Right, it's good location yeah. and fantastic location. And you said it was like sixty quid or something. It was sixty-five quid for the night. And now it's a Sunday night in yeah. January, so that's pretty good for London. Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this. I know it's um, a little bit of step off of the usual yeah. uh, videos that are going up, but don't worry, you will be back to our. Walt Disney World vlogs next week. Yes. Um, so you get to enjoy all of the nice Florida sunshine <laughs> <laughs> and our adventures there. So, hey. At least there was some Disney merch on this one. So exactly. It was stuff. a level of Disney. Yeah. Oh God, Disney earrings. So you do. You know, rep the Disney. <laughs> but anyways, that's bye for us. And yeah, make sure you're back next week and you'll be back to the Disney World vlogs. Yes. Okay. All right. Bye. bye.